everyone, it's Caitlin. I am back again with another tutorial on making stickers. This time I am going to show you how to fit the most amount of stickers on one piece of paper. A couple weeks ago when I first learned to make stickers, I was really bummed out when they printed and I really couldn't fit that many stickers on there and there was a lot of wasted space. So this morning I was playing around with Cricut Design Space and I figured out a way to get around that and fit the most amount of stickers on one page as possible. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to make a rectangle. So I'm going to click on shapes, click on square. If you hit this, un this lock button in the corner you can unlock it and now you can change it into a rectangle instead of a square. The biggest area that you can print in for print and cut is 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches. So I'm going to change this square to 6.7 inches wide and 9.2 inches tall. Next, I want to change this square to a different color. Um, this is just a marker so it shows me the size of the print area. I'm going to change it to a light gray because with the stickers they all have a white background and if you were to change it to a white rectangle it's really hard to see the edges of the stickers and if they are overlapping. Now you can go to upload and you can upload the stickers that you want to print. I'm going to pick these first five that I actually designed earlier today and I am going to insert them onto my canvas. I am going to resize them a little bit because I do like them to be around two and a half inches. So let me resize them all real quick. And you can make them as big or as small as you would like them to be. Oh, hold on. I made a little mistake on that one. I want to change the height of this one to two and a half inches because if I change the width of it, it gets a little too big. This one to two and a half. Whoops, sorry about that. Two and a half. And one last one. Kindergarten teacher one will be two and a half. I am actually a kindergarten teacher. I teach special ed, so I actually co teach in between two different kindergarten classrooms, and I absolutely love it. So I want to make between two and three of each of these stickers, so I'm going to select them all and I will duplicate them two times so that I have three of each sticker. If I were to hit make it right now, Cricut is going to put them on two different pieces of paper. And if you look at this first piece of paper, we have this whole section over here that is wasted space. And if you go to the second page, there's a lot of wasted space because I only have six stickers on there. So I'm going to go back and we're going to figure out how to use up as much of that paper as possible. So this gray rectangle that you made shows the print area. So you're going to move your stickers around to maximize the space. You can turn them, you can um, move them in all different areas. There's a couple, I've had to move them around a few different times to get the most on the paper. It's kind of like a game of Tetris. I actually really enjoy figuring out how to get the most on there. It's kind of fun to me. It's like a puzzle. You can also turn them. So I'm going to rotate this one. And you really just have to kind of play around with it and see which order allows you to fit the most amount of stickers. So I'm actually going to move this one. 
I didn't like that there was a big empty space there. Let's see. Put that one there. And I don't think I'm going to be able to fit three of each of these stickers on here. I'm hoping to fit at least two of all of them and three of some of the other stickers. And like you can turn it because sometimes you need to turn it in order to make it fit better. Actually we're gonna ooh I'm gonna turn that one. Nope, see that one's still going back to the beginning. It's just it's gonna take some time to figure out the best way to fit as many of the stickers as you can. Okay, I want to make sure I get these kindergarten teacher ones on here. This one. Actually, put this one here. You can put that one over there. I'm going to turn this one a little. Actually, if we turn it like that, put that one there, and then we'll put another one of these. Teach ones. Let's see. I'm going to move that one because I feel like there's a lot of empty space up here. See, again, like I said, it does take a little bit of trial and error to move them around so that you can fit as many as possible. I feel like I should have some background music playing since it's taking me a little bit of time to do this. Okay, we're going to put that one here. That one there. Well, I am going to delete <clears throat> one of these teach ones because those ones are kind of large and they are taking up a little bit more space than I would like. That one there. This one here. And let's see. Don't know if we're going to be able to fit that one down there. I think we're going to delete this one and add another difference maker. And then I'm actually going to go to my uploads and I'm going to find a couple other stickers I have to fill in some of these gaps. We're going to pick the ice cream cone because I really like ice cream. And then I also have some of these smaller ones that I can squeeze in. So we have some elephants and we have a teacher fuel. So I'm going to insert those. 
And I am going to make these ones smaller so they kind of just fill in. So these ones won't be two and a half inches, but they are cute little stickers. And if you are a teacher, kids love, love, love stickers. And who doesn't love ice cream and elephants? And also, if you are a teacher, I am sure you have a planner in the little coffee cup teacher fuel ones are super cute and could go on your planner you could put them on note cards you can do a lot of fun things with all these stickers so I'm going to make them small enough so that they fit in some of these empty spaces and it looks like we can duplicate that one because we can fit another one of those if I make it a little bit smaller up here so we can make that a little bit bigger and we're going to duplicate the elephant make another tiny one right there we're going to duplicate it again I'll put one right here let's see oh there's space up here we're going to Duplicate the elephant again. I'm going to put one right there. I think we could actually fit another coffee cup up here. Yep. Um, I think that looks pretty good. There is a little bit of empty space right here if we wanted to we could probably duplicate this ice cream cone and make it smaller and turn it on its side and it may fit right down here you know what we'll do another elephant down there too okay so if you look at this, you have filled pretty much all of the spaces. There's a little bit of space here. I'm sure you could make another small sticker and put it there. But I think this looks pretty good. Oh, and look, I double checked this difference maker one was a little too close to the teach one, and it was going to cause a problem. So now what you're going to want to do is you want to select all of these stickers. And you are going to attach them so that way Design Space will print them all together on one page. So we are going to make sure we have them all selected and we're going to attach. You can actually now hide this square. If you wanted to, you could delete it. I'm going to leave it just because if I decide to change what stickers I want to make, I can delete some of these, add other ones. So I'm going to hide the square, or well, sorry, the rectangle. And now if I go to make it, they are all on one piece of paper. And there is a lot less wasted space than if we made it without the rectangle. So when I go to print these, I'm going to hit continue and I'm gonna click on send to printer and I turn off the bleed the reason I turn off the bleed is because it has a white border so the Cricut does a good job cutting around it and you don't have the little like letters it's cutting around perfectly it has the border so you do have a little room for error then you click print and when you are all done and it's printed you will put it on your mat in the top corner I click on sticker paper and for my machine it does cut all the way through on the sticker paper I know sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through but my machine the settings I have it has been cutting all the way through I use a maker I do have a air 2 as well I haven't tried making stickers using it because I actually have the machine at my parents house right now so I haven't been able to try making them on the air too I will do that just in case there are any other 
things that pop up, if the settings are a little bit different, and I can answer any questions that you may have. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you have a blast making some stickers. Thank you.